Celta Vigo in semi-finals as Mourinho eyes UEFA Champions League through the back door. Well, thank you very much for joining us. This is a special coverage tonight. We will not be having our guest anchor segment or Willis the Word Master segment just to try and get this whole uh, Jubilee primaries into perspective. We have our teams on the ground and they will be joining me shortly here on the show to give us an update of really what went wrong throughout the day. Now, after trying for a whole day to get things running to accomplish a successful nomination exercise in 21 counties, the Jubilee Secretariat has thrown in the towel and cancelled the entire exercise. Well, sources say the Secretary General, Rafael Tuju, may announce new dates tomorrow morning. Well, here is our reporter, Timothy Oteno, who was speaking earlier on to Rafael Tuju. Maybe we could begin by the latest news. Uh, we are made aware that you have cancelled all the party primaries across the country. Perhaps why? Well, maybe I should read the statement so that then the whole content of the statement goes to out to everyone. Um, let me read it. After consultations with the party leadership and in the interest of fairness, transparency and integrity of our primaries, it has been resolved that no voting going, should be going on in the various centres after dark in all counties. This decision has been arrived at after considering the safety of all our members and especially women who may be impeded in exercising their democratic rights because of fear of darkness and already by 6.30 going to 7, we had noticed that uh, a lot of women had started leaving the lines. That's the report that we received. The party leadership is already in the process of reprinting ballot papers in sufficient quantities to be used for the primaries next week, according to a schedule that will be released in the course of tomorrow. The party would like to thank its members for their patience and acting in a peaceful manner throughout this day. The turnout was overwhelming, and while we are encouraged by this passion and expression of support for the party, we admit uh, to have totally underestimated the level of turnout. We own up to this mistake, and we sincerely apologize to our aspirants and supporters. We are currently back on the drawing board, planning for a repeat following this total recall. While the voting process may have proceeded well, in some counties, some constituencies, and some wards to various uh, levels of success, we are forced to take this unprecedented recall so as to ensure the integrity of our party and just to ensure that everybody gets a fair chance. Thank you. you can well, when we spoke to you earlier, of course, you have held two press conferences today, and you had exuded a lot of confidence that despite a few challenges, all would go on well. What has informed this decision to recall? It's an, audit. it's an audit by all of us involved in the process. The moment you see that there are areas where there's too many question marks, we have a very, very robust appellate system. And we know that if uh, any uh, aspirant comes before that appellate uh, process and uh, shows that the process was uh, compromised,